Dormitories are the core of your stay in the NIH Sendai College. As an exchange student, your dormitory is placed in the south wing of the main building. The third floor is strictly reserved for female students, while the fourth and fifth floor are for male students. Dormitories are equipped with different facilities. A kitchen. This is the main common room of the floor, with a big table in its center. You can store your dry food products on the shelf. There is a shared fridge, in which you can all refrigerate your drinks and fresh food. If you want to cook, there are many kitchen tools available for use, from pans to kitchen knives. Finally, to warm your meals, you can use the microwave or the hot plate. Bathroom facilities. First, there are three closable shower boxes at disposal on the third floor. You will just need your own body soap, shampoo, and a personal towel. At the entrance of the corridor, there are multiple sinks in a row, with mirrors, and of course, Japanese toilets. Furthermore, there are urinals in the male floors. Washing machines. Next to the sinks, there are washing machines for clothes washing. And there is a tumble dryer too. Even if these machines are Japanese, you can find English explanations in this manual. A few baskets are supplied, to let you bring your wash clothes to your room. Also, you will just need to buy detergent in the nearest convenience stores. Finally, your room. Almost every exchange student is given an individual room which is composed of a desk with a rolling chair, a closet with few angles, an air conditioner which is controllable by a furnished remote, a conventional bed. You don't need to bring any blanket from your country. At your arrival, the attendants immediately provides you sheets and blankets. Every room has an access to the common balcony. By having a room in the dormitories, your presence needs to be checked and reported every night. A designated leader has to check in the presence of every student of his floor to the attendance at 10.30 p.m. You're not allowed to let someone who don't belong to dormitories enter your room. If you invite some guests on the campus, they will need to wait for you in the lobby. It's strictly forbidden to possess alcohol in the dormitories. That's it, you're now aware of the composition and the essential rules of the dormitories.